First things first, I see my EM bag, but number the second thing that we just gotta say, killed by a fucking C4 by Bo. Okay. Come on, Bo, what's this all about, dude? I thought that we were cool, man. I'm, I'm just a man that's just trading goods out here in the middle of nowhere, okay? How come you have to come raid me, alright? And I see that my bag is left to listen, okay? If you're wondering where I was logged out, I was logged out somewhere inside my airlock. You know how I, like, because, okay, as soon as you come up and out of my vault into the, like, first airlock, it's a garage door, sheet door, double armored door, single armored door, I think. So this guy was going through armored doors, I'm pretty sure, from my knowledge. I'm just saying. So he might have just stopped at the armored vault and just didn't go through, or we're raided and we're fucked. I have no idea. We're gonna see what happens when I spawn on my home bag right now, guys. I'm not too sure what's going on, but, uh... <sighs> oh, okay, we're okay. Holy shit. We got fail raided. 100%, 100% we got fail raided. There's no debate. We got attempt raided. Is this room right here raided? Oh my god, it's not. Holy shit, dude. Oh, what the heck happened here, man? What what in the world happened? <laughs> Let's go ahead and just take out a little something something here, just real, real quick. I still hear my boat inside the boat base spot, which is nice, I guess. We're going to see what's going on outside there here in just a moment, but I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm a little bit nervous right now. So let me just go ahead and just get a tool real quick because someone attempted to raid us with fucking C4, so... Did they just stop at the garage door right here? That's what I'm guessing. I'm guessing that they went all the way through, kept on going, kept on going. Then they hit the armored wall and they were just like, fuck this, we can't do it. That's exactly what happened. Okay. Yeah, uh, so I was asleep right here. Just so we're all aware. I was asleep right here. So I thought that they had went through this, but they killed me with C4. I guess the C4 from... Well, I mean, why is this door right here gone now? You know? Is this a single sheet door or an armored door i think that it was a sheet door so yeah no, i think that they were just rocketing they ended up four rocketing right here and then they three rocketed right here and that just and then that destroyed this uh garage door and then the sheet door here my god dude holy crap let me just uh take out the good old uh you know the good old building plan hammer and just you know take care of some things here just real real quick make sure that doesn't happen again I'll just go like that i guess it's whatever it's fine and what's over here ah you know they just flame raided in Whew, okay, and then they climbed on with this tree right here. What a convenient tree. That This has not been here ever since I've been on. Wait, and they still put down a ladder. I thought that they... Uh, uh, okay, thanks for the ladders, guys. Okay. <laughs> and since this ladder is right here, that means that one of them fell down here and got stuck. And they were like, dude, we need a ladder. Oh, I have one. Don't worry. Or they were like, okay, I'm going to go back to base and get a ladder to get you out. Someone fell in there. Oh, that even makes it better, you know? That even makes it better. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna go ahead and go right here and upgrade that right there to wood, and, uh, you know, life shall go on. Do we have any gears to make any garage doors, I wonder? Yeah, no, we have none. Can you guys go get me some gears, please? We have none. We have no fucking gears. I'm sick and tired of this bullshit of never having anything. Okay. That's that. Get shit on, pussies. <laughs> Uh, I'm so, so sorry. I wonder if they're gonna try raiding us again or if they're just not gonna try, you know? It's always a satisfying feeling to get on and be fail raided and, like, you just lost nothing, you know? It's a really, really satisfying thing, but that's not gonna happen forever. We're gonna eventually get raided. If we already got attempt attempted once, then it's probably gonna happen again, so... I'm just wondering if it's gonna be from the same people. Maybe, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm a solo player with a key lock on my base. That's the best thing that I have to keep people from raiding me. That's the best thing that I have. So very, very first thing that we're going to go and do, uh, if you guys remember the base that we were going to raid yesterday, but as we were doing it, the people ended up getting online. It, it kind of sucked that that had happened, and, uh, you know, it happened, right? Whatever. We need to go over there and see if the floor there is still stone, okay? My friends, we need to go and see. We need to go over there and find out if the floor is still stone. I mean, right now it's a little bit later into the day, so honestly, I'll probably raid that base tomorrow, because right now they're probably online. Right now it's around like 11.30 in the morning when I'm getting on. Uh, sleeping schedule's been... Eh. I mean, it's not fucked. Like, I'm not waking up super late, like, like realistically late. But I'm waking up around like 8 to 9 o'clock in the morning, which is early in a lot of people's eyes. Just, you know, 
not the point where I want to be at, you know? And I've been waking up at this time every single day, honestly feeling tired as shit, eyes are feeling heavy, and I need to fucking work on myself, guys. Eating habits have still been good, I've still been eating the correct amount of calories, still been doing push-ups every day, self-affirmations every single morning, you know? I've stopped showering every single day, I shower every other day now. When before, literally like... Because I'm someone that's like, that's, throughout my life, I've been kind of lazy with showering. And by lazy, I mean, I mean, few years back, I would shower once every three or four days. You might call that gross or whatever, right? I mean, at the end of the day, I'm sitting in a basement all day doing nothing. But should I still shower every other day? Yes, for sure. And, like, I agree with that. Something really, really surprising happened, like, two months ago. I was starting to shower twice a day. And now, eh, showering twice a day, though, that's not really good. But I was doing it in a way where when I wake up each day, I just rinse off. And it's like, it's a rinse off, cold shower, wake up type shower. I'm not actually washing my body or anything then the second shower of the day i'd wash my hair and body and then washing my hair would be an every other day thing to where i'm not washing my hair every single day it was every other day with with my hair but my body every day but i would always have those rinse off showers as well as a full-on body uh washing shower so I was starting to get on my fucking shit with that, you know? And yeah, no, these guys right here are online. I see their large furnace going. Dude, only if I had a fucking flamethrower, bro, we could go in there and they would not stand a chance. I would fucking destroy them unless they came out their front door and emptied the furnace quick enough. I can't really kill them if they do that because they're behind walls, uh, obviously. But, you know, these guys are online right now. All that I want to do is simply come over here right now. Okay, that's all that I want to do. And just look at the floor that's on the base that we ended up attempt rating yesterday and also eco rating the video before that. And see if tomorrow we can actually come here and uh, raid that base. Because today we can already raid a different base. I already have another base in mind that we can still raid today. But this one right here, just because these guys are online, it's going to have to wait, I feel like. It's not worth risking. Okay, why the fuck am I seeing three large furnaces at this tiny fucking base? Sorry for saying fuck a lot right there, by the way. Okay, this thing is full on sheet now, let's just mention that. Oh yeah, it's sheet. It's sheeted up alright. Jesus. Uh, what's TC? If we end up getting... These guys use this thing. What the fuck is this? Their TC spot is still sheet. We can force C4 at one of these uh, next next few days once we actually get C4. Okay, guys. Today's video, we're going to end up taking oil um, and raiding a base. Okay? That's going to be the plan. But, the jeez, I'm just getting the shiver just because I can just see a bolt guy shooting me in the head out of nowhere and i don't want to make any noise to have this guy right here hear me i mean he probably already fucking heard me it's weird already dylan but uh yeah no this guy right here 4c4 into that bitch on the wall where we know where tc is it's over with from that point you feel me we have a plan hopefully they just don't armor it up and even if they do if we have to 4c4 then go through one door oh well these guys right here should be a target of ours in the future, though, okay, guys? If you guys have been watching throughout this season so far, those guys, uh, not only are they going to be loaded as hell, but it's just a revenge type of raid, you feel me? So, right now we're going to go and look at the base that I feel like raiding, though, okay? No, but there was, like, this 2x4 with a triangle airlock, no honeycomb, fully, uh, stone except for one square of it was fully sheeted. I saw that yesterday, and I told myself that I'm either going to come here to that base, jackhammer in, and do the raid if they're offline, and if the floor is left stone, now it's sheet, and they're online. Uh, if it was stone, I was going to do that, then just go through with the raid that we were doing yesterday and try finishing it out. Or, if that's not possible, which it's not, we're going to uh, go over here and raid this other base that we ended up finding. So we're going to go and look at the other base. Hopefully it's still there. Hopefully we can make that raid happen today. It would be great. And uh, we will be trying to get C4 and whatever to try and, you know, get revenge on those guys and actually raid them once and for all. You feel me? Maybe both bases. Maybe both. I mean, if we can get a shop down and start getting sulfur coming in here pretty pretty soon, and we can get as much sulfur as we had last time, we can destroy all those guys' shit over there. It's going to be so, so easy. So, anyway, though, hopefully all of you guys are having a fantastic day today. My day is going okay. I started out my morning with a Game of Thrones episode. Oh, shit, dude. Look at this. This thing is a... Uh... Some sort of garage. Is this thing really worth raiding, you guys think, or what? <laughs> I mean, I didn't know that it was a garage, and I also didn't know that it was a solo player. There might be a different base for us to raid, because literally I think this thing is just a 1x2 base with a 2x3 garage or something. Seeing a base up here, feet were poking through the side right there. You guys see that right there? 
see a naked's feet poking through the side. I wonder what this is. If it's a 2x2 two two code lock, this might be what I end up raiding. It is a 2x2. Two two. No triangle airlock and code lock. Hmm. No double door. No double door. No double door. Doors is our best absolute option here. I saw his feet sticking through over here. So it's either that this entire thing's open behind this door or it's single, single, single. Maybe single, but I can see it being three single sheet doors at most or no single sheet doors except for the front door um i feel like this right here could be a play though guys it's in just it's just in like a weird spot looks like a weirdo made it this weirdo could be the biggest farmer in the world this guy only has a bow but he's probably farming out here farming up his fucking farming out of his ass you know This guy is so butthurt, he was so, so close to uh, Outpost, and we're going to see what all he lost. I mean, he had an ice pick, he had an ice pick, so. Yep, thanks for the flamethrower, I needed that. Oh, man, dude, you really, really do have to feel bad for some of these people. You really, really do. Just getting shot in the back, not only that, like, it's just a really, really fat run, and not only that, he's just this close to Outpost. It's just right up the hill, just barely right up the hill, man. It's literally right there. Oh, man, that fucking sucks for him, dude. I mean, we could go over there and try getting inside that compound and looting the large furnace, guys. Should we just risk it and just go for it? I mean, it's like, if they're inside the base and they hear me doing it, then they're just going to come out and just empty the furnace. That's all that's going to happen right there. Yeah, 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 this right here is the guy that I just now killed, I'm pretty sure. This right here is why I have voice off, by the way, guys, I'm just saying. I get fucking beggars to come over here and uh, ask for their shit back, and they fucking cry about it because they can't stand dying. Because they're weak as shit, dude, they're weak. Good job, dumbass. Hey, right, yo, dude, can I get some of my shit back? It's hard for me to do this now. Can't be hearing that dumb shit from this guy. I don't know, man. All that I'm going to say, they might have so much sulfur cooking inside that shit, it's disgusting. I mean, honestly, are they even going to hear me flame raiding it? Like, how loud is a flamethrower from, like, 20 feet away, you know? Or, like, 20 or 30 meters, you know? Like, that's my question. Like, are they even going to hear me? Maybe not. We might just go in there effortlessly as they're inside their base and we might get their shit. All that I'm saying, though, man, this could, uh, this could be fucking crazy. Flame raid into this compound and, uh... <laughs> get a fuck ton of shit dude i mean it's possible i mean people cook sulfur inside their large furnaces well if it's you know compounded in like a furnace base and everything obviously but people will do that the, the only time that they won't is if they need charcoal then they won't which i feel like these guys have a bunch of charcoal for some weird reason yeah, and we have no low grade to do this either we have none to spare so whatever that fucking sucks whatever all right external wooden wall here we go durability flamethrower 412k okay, i'm gonna bring 450 and just shoot out all that just cuz well, i mean i think they were pretty much all ready to go should i just bring a thompson i mean there's not i mean there's better options obviously but i just don't really know like i don't really care to bring anything like crazy it's not really that big of a deal i don't think we'll see what happens either way we have flamethrower learn this is a very very basic gear set might seem like a lot of low grade like 465 low grade dylan jesus yeah i have a thousand crude okay I have a thousand crude. Do you know how much low grade that is? That's like 2,000, right? Is it one crude oil, like four low grade, or is it three? It's one or the other. So either way, we have a shit ton more that we can just cook up anytime. We need to try uh, going into the compound, though, from the furthest side from the base to avoid them hearing the flamethrower, though. Because I really don't know how loud it is. I don't think that it's really a loud thing, though. I mean, well, I mean, ob well, I mean obviously, we all know that a flamethrower isn't as loud as gunshots or anything. But, like, <clears throat> I'm just wondering if they're actually going to be able to hear it. Part of me feels like I should just wait for them to fucking leave, bro. I don't think that I'm going to be able to get in. I mean, maybe. Like, what? Like, like, are they going to hear it, you guys think? You guys, some of you guys probably know on how far away you can hear a flamethrower from. I don't really. I know that it's not a far distance. Like, the flamethrower is not a loud thing. But, like, they might hear it from inside their shit, you know? And, like, the second that they hear it, it's all over. Well, I'm going to have to either deal with them roof camping down on me. I'm not too worried about that because they have to jump into a windowsill and peek into me like that, which is somewhat easy for me to kill them. I mean, they can double headshot me jumping in the window then looking down on me if they get lucky. But smartest thing they can do, and they're going to have all the time in the world to open up the front door, come out, grab the shit, go back inside, hide. That's, you know, and, and then roof camp me. Oh, now the large furnace isn't going. 
Come on, refill it up with shit. Start it back up. Let me see that fucking smoke start going. He's outside. He's still looking inside of it. I see his flashlight on the wood high wall here. He's right there. Yes! The fact that I've been here this entire night and done nothing, bro. See, like, this is where I'm too passive. I'm too paranoid to get caught doing this shit. Even though, again, they have a fucking campfire on, bro. Like, it's loud inside there, Dylan. They hear the campfire noise. <sighs> you're gonna shoot off one tank, one entire tank, Dylan, and you're gonna see if you hear anything, okay? And if you don't, you're gonna be in the clear, most likely. The only time that they're gonna come out here and do anything is when they hear the fucking wall break. Fuck, guys, I can't do it. Go. Fucking garbage, man. Garbage. <laughs> All that for that, Dylan. They didn't even notice, okay? Can you please calm the hell down already and fucking go home over this bullshit, please? That was so sad, Dylan. I mean, honestly, just give yourself a little bit of credit. Like, at least you did it, right? It took you so long to step forward and do it, but you finally did it. Was the outcome really good? Not really. It was a little bit of bullshit, but, you know. Good thing that you actually did it. Should've just left the shit inside there, man. I should've just left it inside there. Just so they would continue using it. And they're probably not going to notice that that wall's gone for a while. They don't walk deep into that part of their compound ever. The only time they're going to notice it is when they're approaching it from the outside. I can see them continue. Well, I mean, they're not going to continuously use their furnace now that all the shit's gone out of it. But that's why I should have left some stuff in it. That was somewhat fun, though. You guys probably did not see all the bullshit in between that. I literally sat there throughout an entire night cycle. Now half a day cycle. Oh my god. Like, I just was not stepping forward and doing it. I was too nervous. Straight up. I was just too nervous to do it. And then next thing you know, we do it and they don't even notice a thing. Even after, like, even after the wall breaks, they still don't even notice. Guys, I just not heard someone over here. They're hitting barrels. Now they're coming at us. You guys ready? Later, bitch. What's up, huh? What's going on? Give me that pump. We got some slugs. Let's just go out with this shit right now. Use a little bit of pump slug, you know? Why not? Why not? We haven't done it for a while. It's a classic thing that we like to go back and do here and there. I don't know how the pump game is going to be today, but, uh... Eh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, I don't know how long I have not been recording for. Let me go look in my fucking recordings. Let me just go look. Okay, and so you guys have seen pretty much... You guys saw me kill that guy for the pump, and then pretty much we, uh... Ended up, I'm pretty sure that I, that I ended up showing you guys the 2x2 two two that we ended up finding, right? The 2x2 two two with the sheet door code lock. Either way, we're going to raid that base. Sorry that I wasn't recording. I just thought that the, at, at, uh, the top left of my screen, and I was like, okay, how long have I not been recording for? Right now, we're going to go and raid, though. Pretty much outside of that, we were on, like, a pump slug run. Never ended up finding anybody, so now we just now came back home. And we decided, uh, you know what, let's go and freaking raid this base that we ended up seeing. And I don't know if you guys ended up seeing it. It's just a plain 2x2, two two, no triangle airlock, stone 2x2, two two, no honeycomb. I see this dude's feet sticking through. He's a naked. I don't know what he's going to have. Uh, this might be fucking garbage, okay? I'm just going to warn you guys. It might be trash or, or we might luck out. I mean, it has a code lock. Every player is different, but I'm just trying to go with the most average player. And, like, what makes the most actual sense. I'm guessing... I don't, honestly, I'm just going to try and be optimistic. Let's just assume that there's going to be one sheet door, okay? Let's just hope for the best here, okay? Let's do this shit. I love you guys. And boom, right? There's 30 bullets, just like that, you know? It's like, what though? It's all good, guys. It's fine. Don't worry. Okay, this is not a good thing. I'm just going to say that. I'm just going to say that this is not a good thing. Ah, this actually, never mind. This could be a, this could be a good thing. Okay, one minute here. All right, what all do you got, my man? Eh, a little bit of bullshit, you know, nothing too serious. What all do you got? A little bit of bullshit, nothing serious. Nothing inside there. I mean, I saw a jackhammer. And it has not been used at all, which kind of makes me kind of sad because it could have got a lot of shit, you know? But, eh, it's moderate, you know? Like, it's not garbage. You cannot call that right there garbage, you know? 
I'm out of here, dude. I'm out of here. That right there was moderate, though. You know, it wasn't bad. Was it crazy? No, it definitely wasn't crazy. But we got some stuff. Brand new jackhammer, 258 scrap, bit of wood, bit of stone, bit of high qual, bit of metal, bit of scrap, you know, crude, like, got a bit of everything right there, you know? We're still gonna go to oil rig, though, okay? To see if we can end up getting C4. C4 right now is... It's it's somewhat becoming a bigger priority simply because I want to try and get revenge on the guys over there that, that uh, live inside that compound and that, you know, now it's a full-on sheet base. And uh, we're, like, we're going to be able to boom into their TC room flawlessly if we can just get our hands on C4, even if they're online. We can even go over there as they're online and, like, we'll be able to do it. It's not going to be as easy because they can just roof, roof camp from two different towers and pinch me, but I would prefer to not do it as they're online, but... If it's seeming like the only option for whatever reason, then I guess we can do it as they're online. Guys, I just saw someone mining. One second. Hey, Bear, thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, okay, Bear? I'm going to be honest with you. This is not a good thing. I'm better off just depoting shit. There's a guy that's back over there now. Shit, man. I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. Okay, one minute, one minute. Okay, so pretty much what I need to do here. That, that right there was like a wolf headdress bow guy from my knowledge. He didn't really have anything. Fucking hell. This is really going to be an issue, isn't it? This dude's name is Ta. I just now saw that dude's head poking up right there. He's up there, bro. And if he's with the guy, they're about to find out where the fuck I live. And I think these are the guys that live way over there. Actually, no. The name Ta. I recognize that name from something. Fucking hell, man. This guy's spying on me, and I can't go inside my base as he does it. What's up, huh? What's up, punk? Punk bitch. What's up, dude? You're scared. Alright. I'm going inside my fucking base and quick depoting, man. I'm so, so terrified right now. Yeah, just go outside. Go now, Dylan. Go now. Where do I remember the name Ta from? Was that from the 2x3 uh, online raid? Was someone in there named Ta? It was Rebecca and someone else. Was it Ta? I think so. Not joking, man. I think this might be the two guys, man. They're trying to fucking get a revenge raid on me right now, I'm pretty sure, dude. They could have been the ones that tried to raid us overnight. They're in the same area. I feel like it's the guys that had the 2 by 3 right up here that we ended up online raiding, guys. They're back in business over here, and uh, he had a semi right there. Hazmat, so... <laughs> dude, the bear was fucking hitting him, and, and, like, the bear got him down to one shot, dude. That is hilarious. Ah, and now we got this. What's up, bitch? Well, you guys want to fight? You, you think that you're good. You think. You think that. But you caught me in a spot crouching still as your teammate was running, you know? You guys want to fight? We can fight. If you guys are actually man enough. Yeah, running out in the open? Come on. On, let's do this. Let's go. Where's your Thompson teammate? Thompson teammate's too scared. Okay, that's great. No way. Oh my god, dude. These guys are trying to push through fucking fields on me, bro. Honestly, I'm best off just coming, like, up here. Yeah, that guy's dead. Jesus, dude. I'm whiffing like crazy with tapping this gun. It's insane. Ah, you're hit again, bitch. What's up? You're so, so scared. Oh my god, dude. I love on how scared you are. Not gonna lie, though, man. I'm fucking up. A semi would be better in this, uh, in this scenario for me, personally, I feel like. I don't know where this python guy went, but he's not peeking. He's too scared. Oh, 
That was a incredibly sloppy fight. And right now I'm seeing a bow guy right here, dude. Please just stop. Just quit it. Stop just sitting right there hiding behind the balloon, dude. I did not want to kill you. I did not want to. But what, like, what choice are you leaving me with just by fucking spying on me, okay? I was whiffing right there with the AK, though, guys. You guys saw that, right? It was kind of embarrassing. It's okay, though. It's fine. I accept that I whiffed. What? What's the big deal? Just a game. Part of me just wants to come out with a uh, semi right now, though. See how my shemi... Uh, yeah, 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 Dylan. Your fucking shemi shot. <laughs> Actually, we can just go out with the freaking pump. What am I saying? It's good. It's all going to kind of serve the exact same purpose in whatever fight. Oh, what the hell? One minute. Hazmat guy running over there to that base. You guys see him over there on the right side of my screen? He's tiny. I think that's where these two guys live. I just saw, yeah, 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 now I'm seeing a teammate inside of there as well. Oh my god, okay. We're gonna go down here to uh, Mining Outpost, shoot a pump twice with Buckshot, see, and then see if they push us. Those guys would be so, so loaded though, man. That's the guys that uh, I was just now whiffing on and whatever. Frickin' uh, here a minute. Coming down, guys. Get the fuck ready. <laughs> oh my god. Reload in more slugs. Stop. My character likes to stop reloading. He's over here somewhere. I'm very, very certain. Yep, and he's scared out of his mind. Are you gonna run or something, or what? You, you're you not actually gonna run away, are you? Yeah, no, he's gonna run away. That's so, so unbelievable. Man, I'm just gonna act like I'm freaking fighting back here or something. <laughs> Okay, why, why why does it reload in two bullets? I don't click or anything. Oh shit, hello. What's up? What's up, dude? What's up? Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up, okay? Where's your teammate? Oh yeah, he's right here, okay. What's up, bro? Give me that freaking python, okay? Give me that shit. Shad. Weirdo. Okay, one minute here, one minute here. Oh, nice shot, man. Nice shots right there. Nice shots. That guy over there is going to be low on meds. I know that for a fucking fact. Okay, can you please jump up? He's just hiding behind this rock. Now he's hit again. My shit doesn't really do a whole lot of damage from here, honestly. I think that I'm best off using a python, honestly. It's okay. He's scared. He doesn't know what he's doing. It's fine. It's It's all normal here. It's normal for him to be nervous. Now he's fucking dead. I dare him to come back out from his base and try killing me, dude. Just don't bring a bolt. Don't bring a bolt or like an AK. And his teammate tried to come at me with a goddamn knife. He peeks from his base with a bolt? I don't know what's gonna happen, honestly. I don't know what's gonna happen in that scenario, but uh... We'll see, I guess, okay? We'll see. He's coming back out, I can tell you that. Man, come back out, man. Let's do this. Let's do this. Come on, man. What are you scared? <laughs> oh, man, did I love it. He's so mad that I just now hit him right there, too. He's so, so butthurt. He just now ran back inside, though. I think that it's because he needs more ammo. <laughs> Man, I'm so happy that I fucking chased down these guys and killed them. Oh, dude, that's so, so great. I mean, I'm gonna act like I'm shooting at some other people right now. You can keep on trying, man. You can keep on trying. Later, bitch. What's up? He's trying, man. He's trying hard.
I just go back over there and kill him again, dude, imagine. That would be a fun thing to have happen again, to be honest. <laughs> uh, what the fuck was that noise doing? You were just like... <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, you guys heard, like, that weird noise, right? When I was laughing, that, like, small, high-pitched noise. And that guy went back home. He's, he's, he's done with me. He has his excuses, though. It's okay. He has his excuses. I was expecting his teammate to push out at some point, but... And, like, his teammate did, but, like, it took him a while. And I was just, like, ready for, like, the pinch, which is exactly why I was checking my left side over and over. And then eventually we ended up seeing him there. And then, you know, you just hit him with the jiggle with the pump, you know? You just jiggle, hit him, jiggle, hit him. Boom, he's dead. GG. Two body shots and he's just dropped, you know? See someone comment, here's a challenge, try not swearing once in, in one video. I did, for like a year fucking straight. You can ask people that have been watching for a while. I used to not curse. Well, I went from mainly cursing when I started the channel for around a year and a half, maybe two years. Then I had like an entire year where I didn't due to YouTube uh, monetization issues. So like, I was not cursing for like a year straight. Not even kidding. I was not cursing for like a year straight. I know that sounds weird and whatever, but... Not kidding. I was actually not cursing at all in videos. Just recently, actually, within like the past few months, it actually started to come back. You know? So, I've already done a lot of that, okay? I've already done a lot of, uh, not cursing. I can make myself not do it very easily if I don't want to do it. Cursing just brings out more energy, though, you know? That's all. Anyway, though, guys, I think that I am going to go ahead and call it right there, okay? We were going to go to Oil Rig, but then we started getting a little bit of PvP. Would I, would I rather have PvP or Oil Rig? Eh, probably PvP. We can go to Oil Rig anytime. PvP isn't something that's always happening throughout the entire day, so... I kind of thought, you know what, let's just go ahead and just PvP a little bit for the ending here. We did one raid today. It was a moderate raid, definitely moderate. We also flame raided through that high wall over there at that one uh, group's base. And I'm actually seeing a car over there in the distance. You guys see that? Oh my god, look at that. I think that's actually the uh, because the base that I ended up jackhammering into a couple days ago, or yesterday for me, a couple days ago for you guys, uh, was like a garage base. So that could actually be those guys over there. Anyway, though, tomorrow we're going to be starting out the video with an oil rig run. I think that each day I'm only going to be making one video at a time now. I'm already ahead on videos. I'm not a week ahead, but I'm like four to five days ahead, which is enough, honestly. It doesn't have to be an entire week. So yeah, overall, I'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new one, okay? More raids are on the way. More grinding is on the way, and uh, revenge is on the way, okay? As long as we don't get raided, and even if we do, I want to try my best to uh, be able to raid those guys over there. I'm going to go ahead and learn some things real real quick with all the scrap that i have inside my base and then uh go ahead and get off okay guys and go and edit up this video comment slug if you guys made it here to the end that was a that was a blast actually using the pump slug right there for a little bit you know like it wasn't a crazy like intense like flawless fight on our part but it was a good time you know it was a good time letting those guys know what's up after whiffing on them with the ak <laughs> but uh yeah peace out guys love you guys have a good day or night whatever time it is for you and uh bye bye dear.